Good day guys, today we'll go through how you can use the second SD slot on the R36S for ROMs. We will cover how to make the system only check the second card for ROMs and also how to make it check both SD cards for ROMs, which is probably what most people with a dual SD card setup would want. We will be using a cheap 32GB SanDisk microSD with a fresh install of ArcOS which has completed its initial boot and setup. For slot 2, we are just using a cheap no frills 16GB microSD card. I haven't inserted the second SD card yet, but as you can see, it is a fresh install with just the Pico 8 games that it comes with. Over on Windows 10 now, I'm just inserting the 16GB SD card into my SD card reader, just a cheap USB 2 one, and I'll pop it in the laptop. And as you can see, it is blank. I have formatted it as FAT32, and I'll show you how to do that. You just right click on it, go to Format, and FAT32. I left the allocation unit uh, default. And just click Start. We do want a quick format. There's no point doing a full format. And click OK. It is worth noting with this specific SD card, I did test NTFS, and it did work on the R36S as well. But it is recommended to use FAT32. By default, Windows 10 won't allow you to format drives bigger than, I believe, 32 gig as FAT32. So to get around that, we'll just use a program called Rufus. So just go to Google, type in Rufus. We have used it uh, a few times in other videos. Go to the top link, rufus.ie. Go down. And I will be downloading Rufus portable version. Go to downloads. Open it up, run. If you open this program and you can't see your drive listed, try a different SD card reader. Uh, I've noticed that if I use the built-in SD reader on laptops, it doesn't show up. I do have to use an external uh, USB one. Just keep that in mind. Now to format it as FAT32, just select non-bootable. You can give it a label. I'll just keep it blank for now. And there it is there, FAT32. With advanced options, uh, don't create extended label and icon files, but you do want quick format. Let's click start. Click OK. And that's it. That's just another way you can format uh, drives larger than 32 gig as FAT32. There's a lot of other programs that allow you to do it, but Rufus is just a really handy program to have and you should, you should probably already have it on your computer. And yeah, just easy to use that. We'll just show that the SD card is still empty, and it is. So we will safely eject it. And I'm just removing it from the SD card reader. Back on our R36S now. I'm just going to insert it into the second SD slot, which is the one on the left. And just again, the one on the right is the ArcOS one, which I showed earlier. It's a fresh install. We'll power it on. Now to set up our second SD slot, let's go down to Options, Advanced, and at the very bottom, there is an uh, entry called Switch to SD2 for ROMs. Click on that. This does copy every ROM uh, on the boot SD over to SD slot 2, so you want to make sure you have enough free space, otherwise it will fail. So if you're using a 128GB card uh, as the boot drive and it's full of ROMs, and you have, say, a 16 gig or a 32 gig uh, card in the second slot, it will try to copy all the ROMs over and it will fail. So you can either do a fresh install, remove all the ROMs, or get a bigger card. So that didn't take too long to copy because there was pretty much no ROMs, just the Pico 8. Again, if you have heaps and heaps of ROMs on your boot card, it will take quite a while to copy them all over. Now that this is done, we will start, go shut down system, and we'll pop it back in our Windows laptop. Once again, just using the cheap USB 2 SD card reader. Now when we have a look, all of the easy ROM folders are there. So we can just copy some ROMs into here and be good to go. I will just copy a NES game over to it just to show that it works. So we do Mega Man. Back to the SD card, go to the NES folder, which is empty, and we'll just paste it in. And that's it. We'll close this off, safely eject, and we'll go back to our R36S console. Before I insert the second SD card again, 
I'll show you what happens once it has been set up to uh, load ROMs from the second SD card, but the SD card missing. As you can see, it doesn't boot without a second SD card. The second SD card doesn't have to have any files on it in order for it to boot. So if for some reason you've lost your uh, second SD card full of ROMs, you can just put any old SD card in as long as it detects one. It'll search it for ROMs, it won't find any if there's none on there, and it'll let you change it back to a single card setup. It just saves you having to reinstall a fresh OS. So I'll just hard power it off, and I'll insert the SD card again. Turn it back on. And it did find our Nintendo game Mega Man. Now this only searches the second SD slot for ROMs and no longer the first one. There is a, a way to fix that, so you can use both um, SD cards for ROMs, which is probably what most people want to do. Go to Options, go to Advanced, go a little bit down, and it says Read from SD1 and SD2 for ROMs. Select that. It only takes a few seconds, just changes some config. And that's, that's done now. So now it will search uh, both SD cards for ROMs, which again is what most people want to do. If for some reason you want to go back to a single uh, SD setup, it's pretty easy to do. Go to Options, go to Advanced, at the very bottom there's a new option that says Switch to Main SD for ROMs. If you select that, it'll no longer search for the second SD card. Let's do that now. Now you might notice it still does have the Nintendo ROM. In order for it to refresh, you will have to restart the system. So I'll just go quit. I will do a full shutdown. Now I can eject the second SD card. Turn it back on. And the Nintendo option has gone because uh, there was I only put the Mega Man ROM on the second SD slot. And it does boot without a second SD. I will power it off and just show you that it no longer searches for the S second SD card. So I will put the second SD back in with the Mega Man ROM on it. We'll turn it back on. And as you can see, it did in fact not look for the second SD card ROMs. I have seen multiple people report that specific SD brands don't work in the second slot. I can't see any reason uh, for that. All I can think is uh, they either haven't been formatted correctly or the SD card itself is uh, a bit dodgy or corrupted. If you do come across an SD card that doesn't work for you in the second slot, please do let me know in the comments and we'll try and troubleshoot it together so we can finally solve the mystery. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.